Intermediate Chinese by Young Ho. I got this book for 20 bucks Canadian, well, $21.95. And I highly recommend it if you want to learn Chinese. Uh, this is just a quick review of this book. I've never done a review before, but I just, want, I just feel like speaking Chinese today. I've been speaking French all day yesterday, and I decided I want to flip into the Chinese realm. Because a lot of you people think I just make videos uh, about languages and I don't speak any languages because I don't really speak those foreign languages when I'm making the videos. So this is intermediate Chinese. It's actually a lower intermediate. It's perfect for my level because that's about where I am right now. And uh, what it does is it gives you, there's a CD that comes with it. I already have, I put it somewhere upstairs. All the answers are in the back of the book, like the keys to the exercises. And uh, I'm just going to speak some, I'm just going to read the, do the first chapter right here, right now. Just, just for fun. So, chapter one. Uh, past and future, as you can see. I can read the opinion, I can't read the characters. But, Mali, depends on where you're from. Shi 我一定来，呃，婚礼以后你们要去哪儿？地蜜月，我们要去香港，你们以前去过香港吗？没有，这是第一次。听说香港是个很有意思的地方。你回来以后告诉我是不是这样？一定。so you probably, some people have no idea what I'm saying. I'll go through the English after or whatever. I don't know, I'm just having fun. Mali, this is another conversation. Mali, 你们是什么时候是从香港回来的? 我们是上星期回来的? 你们在香港玩了几天? 我们在香港玩了一个星期? 香港怎么样？香港很好玩，风景也很美。你们在香港的时候住在哪儿？我们住在班岛饭店。除了香港，你们还去了哪儿？我们还去了澳门，是吗？你们是怎么去澳门的？是不是坐飞机去的？ 我们不是坐飞机去的，我们是坐船去的，从香港坐船到澳门，要到长时间。澳门里，哦喂，澳门里，香港很近，坐船只要一个小时。王先生，我哦， oh, this is another conversation. 王先生，我想问你一件事。哦，一件私事。不知道你会不会介意？你问吧。你有没有结婚？我结了。你是什么时候结婚？我是三年前结的。你呢，李先生？你有没有结婚？还没有。有女朋友吗？有，她和我在一个单位。你们准备什么时候结婚？ 
现在还不知道，可能两年以后吧。Then it goes into the reading passage. It has the characters and the opinion. Remember, like I said, the English is in the back, so you can always flip back and forth. I'm just gonna read the reading passage now. 我的朋友大卫快结婚了。我下个星期要参加他的婚礼。大卫的新娘是玛丽。大卫和玛丽都是美国人。他们是去年在北京大学学的中文的时候认识的。<笑>来北京以前，大卫是银行职员。玛丽是小学老师，他们要在中国结婚，他们的爸爸妈妈都要来北京参加他们的婚礼。大卫和玛丽结婚后要去南京大学教英语，他们一年以后回美国，回美国。So then you get the new words and the expressions, and it just、uh, so the words that you were that you just spoke. If you had no idea what you were saying, and some of the words are here, they are. 最近 means recently or shortly these days. 是 matter 快乐 about to 当 become act as 新娘 bride 祝贺 congratulate congratulations 新郎 is a bridegroom. 当时 at that time, 打算 is to plan, 结婚 get married, 就 right away, 会 will, 收到 receive, 请帖 invitation card letter, 到时 at that time, 参加 to participate in, 婚礼 is a wedding, 以后 is after, 以前 before, 蜜月 honeymoon, 有意思 interesting. 这样 so like this, 半岛 is peninsula. I didn't know that word. 回 is to return. 风景 scenery. 美 is pretty. 除了 besides high also. 澳门 is Macau. 私 is private. 介意 mind. 举行 is to hold. And 职员 is a clerk. 教 is teach. And here's some supplementary bonus words. 订婚 is to be engaged to. 离婚 is divorce. 分居 separate. 再婚 is remarry. 未婚夫 is fiance. 未婚妻 is a.、Uh, I think I said that right. 未婚妻 is fiance. Eyes to love. 谈恋爱 is to date. 礼物 is a gift or a present. 送 is to give a present. 漂亮 is to look good looking, pretty. You know. And Yan Hui is banquet. Tin Ti is relatives. Then it goes into the language points.、Uh, I'll just read a couple of the sentences.、Um, talks about commas and stuff. We went to Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, and Hong Kong. So we went to Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, and Hong Hong Kong. And、uh, it just talks how their comments their. I, think, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> Another mark of unfamiliar English、uh, speakers is the title mark used to bracket a book, title, movie, and so on. Is an example of its. Like they have different things that we don't have in English, obviously. Like these little bracket things. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's focusing on my face for some reason. I'll just read some more sentences and translate into Chinese. So if someone's learning Chinese, you could probably. This will be fun for you. If if it's not, then well, you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> it's a good book, man. You you can get it on Amazon, eBay. Just order it. It's it'll really help you if you want to learn. Like、uh, take your if you want like a really high elementary level or lower intermediate level. It's just perfect right there, and it'll probably get you up to like a you know a mid、uh, intermediate level. Uh, this is just the first chapter, and it's long. It takes about like at least two hours to probably go through like one chapter. I'm just skimming through it. Here's a couple sentences.、Uh, like 你最近怎么样 Unlike in English, 最近 can refer to the future as well as past. 
Basically, it refers to a point or past or future that is closest to the present. So we can say both of the following. 我最近去了中国, I went to China recently. Or 我最近要去中国, I'm going to China soon. Indication of the future. Chinese does not have a tense system. The following words and expressions are often used in conjunction with a verb to indicate future. Like, yao is uh, la, to be going to. 我妈妈要来美国了. My mama, <laughs> my mother is coming to America. <laughs> yao, in the sense, is often preceded by jiu or kuai for additional emphasis. Um, Kuai, le, to be about to, soon, before long. So, hua chu, or hua chu, kuai le, lai. <sighs> Sorry, I made a mistake there. Hua chu, kuai lai le. The train is about to come. So I said, hua chu, kuai lai le. The train is about to come. Kuai xia ke le. The class will be over soon. Kuai xia ke le. The class will be over soon. Kuai le can also be used with a noun in between to mean almost. 我来美国快十年了. It is almost 10 years since I came to America. 我来美国快十年了. I think I had the tone wrong in the first time. Anyways, uh, 快三点了. It's almost 3 o'clock. 快三点了. 快新年了. It's almost New Year. 快新年了 Number three, 打算, 打算, to plan, both as a noun and a verb. 你毕业后有什么打算? What's your plan after you graduate? 你毕业后有什么打算? It's hard, those second tones and the third tone, they sound pretty close, but the same to me sometimes. So, 你毕业后有什么打算? What's your plan after you graduate? 我打算工作 I plan to work. 我打算工作 And number four, 准备 is to plan. 你今年准备在哪儿? 过年 Where are you planning to spend your new year this year? <laughs> 你今年准备在哪儿过年? Where are you planning to spend your new year this year? While 打算 is more often used in spoken language, 准备 often occurs more in written language. Number five, 会. 会 is a model verb expressing a future possibility. 老师明天会来吗? Will the teacher come tomorrow? 老师明天会来吗? 今天不会下雨 It won't rain today 今天不会下雨 Indication of the past oh, I'm not going to read all that I just like these little sentences <laughs> So uh, When asking questions about time This is just a little skim over of, the, of how this book actually works If you're learning Chinese this is for you so, when asking questions about time, place, and manner of a past event, Chinese uses shu, de, construction, where the item f following shu is highlighted. Additionally, shu can be omitted. So, 他是什么时候去中国的? When did he go to China? 他是什么时候去中国的? 你是在哪儿了? No, yeah, 你是在哪儿认识? 你太太的 Where did you meet your wife? 你是在哪儿认识你太太的? 你今天是怎么来的? So, 是 is in bracket, so you don't have to say it. So, 你今天是怎么来的? How did you come today? Or another way to say it is, uh, 你今天怎么来的? You don't have to say the 是, because it's in brackets. Okay, when the verb is a transitive one, de is usually placed between the verb and the object. So, for example, 你今天是在哪儿? 吃的中饭 Where did you eat lunch today? 
你今天是在哪儿吃的中饭 ？And 是 is in brackets, so you don't have to say it. It would sound like this without it. 你今天在哪儿吃的中饭？你是在哪儿上大学 ？Where did you go to college？ 你是在哪儿上的大学？你是在哪儿 ？Are you take up the 是？你在哪儿上大学 ？So note that in the response to the question above should take the same form if the object is a pronoun or if a noun is followed by a directional. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I, I don't know. I'll go a little bit longer, but I think I'm really supposed to be reading the Bible right now. <laughs> Getting hit, hallelujah! I'll be doing Proverbs after this. <laughs> hallelujah! All right. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of the greatest reviews ever. Hallelujah! For me, anyway. <laughs> this is the only review I've ever done, man. On this. Oh man! Oh yeah, Jesus is king. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go on to some more sentences. Ni shi zai na ren shi tada. Where did you become acquainted with him? <laughs> uh, with Jesus? <laughs> Yesu is how you say Jesus in Chinese. So you can also say ni shi zai na ren shi Yesu. <laughs> Where did you become acquainted with Jesus? <laughs> oh, glory! <laughs> All right. He is yesterday from Shanghai. He returned to Shanghai yesterday. Oh, glory! He is yesterday from Shanghai. He returned to Shanghai yesterday. If the sentence takes the negative form, boo. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think this is. I think this Chinese lesson's over. Get the book, man. It's good. It's good, man. And get the book of Proverbs. It's really good too. <laughs>